We have to come in here. This is a uh, this is a FBA show tonight. This is a foundational Black American show tonight. I feel like I got my foundational Black de uh, American detective badge in the mail. And uh, last time I checked FedEx, they said that my badge was coming in the mail uh, Monday. If we don't, if anybody doesn't know, just want to, uh, you know, Jamel in the building, Killer Gang, let's, you know, salute you guys in the building. You know what I'm saying? You know, Killer Gang always shows me love. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure, you, like I said, before we get into it, just make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, dollar sign for the boy J904 Cash App. You know what I'm saying? We got everything popping. Listen, Tariq Nasheed and Taharka Bay, and what you say, the uh, who strikes back? You said uh, FBA. Pan African Africanism, Pan African nigga strikes back. Pan African nigga. <laughs> all this, all this shit going on right now in the FBA community, and as a fellow um, FBA person by lineage, by bloodline, it would be remiss if I didn't discuss Tariq Nasheed and what's been going on in Black History Month and and the fiascos. That have been going viral the last two days. Uh, uh, having this platform, I try not to talk about other YouTubers too much, or even uh, certain people like a Tariq Nasheed, or you know, people who I feel like who do tangible work in the Black community and offer uh, certain things as far as you know, uh, you know, documentaries, <clears throat> um, FBA uh, flags and, and handkerchiefs. You know, uh, the what, the Kente cloths was that was what he was selling, the Og the Ogun spray. You know what I'm saying? You know, marketing a pepper spray that you can sell. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember he had the little Karen dolls. That, you know, you just you you're able to satisfy a black community. So when people say like, you know, you're you're scamming other people and all this, I'm like, if you got the product you bought from Treat Nasheed, I can't call you a scammer or whatnot, right? So you know when things happen or you know controversial you know people pop up and kick up dust, I try not to cover it because I don't want to give that stuff too much light. But I feel like the things that have been uh, progressing with this week, this week, um, we have to get to it. We have to talk about it. Well, just to bring you up to breast, um, Moorish World TV is Tahaka Bay. They are mad at Tariq Nasheed because they're saying that he's dividing the black people with the FBA. Um, Grouping, right? You know he's Moorish, and the other guy's Pan Africanism. So I don't know where they little beef come in in that, but they've been beefing for about a year now. So they've been on the video Moorish Royal TV, which is to Harker Bay, which is the one who allegedly got slapped. He's been going live exposing Tariq every night, damn near for like the last six months. Brandon, pretty much the same thing. He do a couple different stuff, but he's right. been pretty much going live and exposing Tariq about. I'm sorry about the nigga tongue, but <laughs> now nah, you're good. You're good. Go ahead. <laughs> been exposing Tariq about, you know, the museum and all that bullshit. So, you know, and I guess shit is hitting the fan this week. You got niggas suing niggas in court and nigga getting smacked. Yeah, personally, um, I think that both of these situations, uh, Tariq needs to just relax and kind of like back away from because they're not really making the movement look constructive because you're making it seem like, you know, people can just run down on you and get a viral moment. Are you making it just seem like people can just, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like get some type of clout off of you at the end of the day. And oh, man. And this was. This was a clip that I seen last night. Uh, not last night, but yesterday when it first got posted. Yeah. You can see this nigga's Yeah. You want to play the audio? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yo, that bitch Taharka Bay just came up here to the museum. Shout out to the security up here. Shout out to his brother here. I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay. All right? Did you see me slap the shit out of him? <laughs> I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay and ran him the fuck up out of here. Yo, that bitch Taharka Bay just came up here to the museum. Shout out to the security up here. Shout out to his brother here. Why would you shout the out, shit out of Taharka Bay? You're supposed to be the one to slap the shit out of Taharka Bay, right? Yeah, why the security getting shot out? 
Security was the one who was snitching. That's the one who called Tariq when. Oh, okay. When Taharkin pulled up. Okay, pulled okay, up. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I guess he probably slipped them niggas a, a hundred dollar. <laughs> right? Did you see me slap the shit out of him? <laughs> that nigga went bad, dude. That nigga like a shopper. I don't know, man. I'm just, hey, let's just. I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay and ran him the fuck up out of here. And see, when that first hit, my initial reaction was like, I can't believe this has to be, I won't call it a, um, what's the word? I won't call it like staged, but I was thinking like, bro, it ain't no way Taharka Bay actually pulled up to the Hidden Colors Museum. I'm like, ain't no way. I'm like, treat the sheet. Gotta be clout chasing. This cot, this gotta be a lie. Ain't no way. And then lo and behold, lo and behold, this goofy ass nigga actually pulled up over there. I'm going to call him goofy because I feel like it's no reason for you to be putting yourselves in those types of situations at all. There's no reasonable justification that you should be over there. I would think the same thing, bro. I'm like, this nigga, what's the reason? But they say he was serving him with a lawsuit for defamation because Tariq Nasheed called him a P word. Yeah, of course. But at the same time, you can have a lawyer do that. You don't have to go through that in general. Like I said, you you know, you know, it looks like somebody allegedly put hands on you, you hauled ass. So it Star said, Star told that nigga on the phone he called in. Star said, You're hauling ass, you're doing the right thing. Getting the fuck out of Dodge. That shit was so funny. This is this is when the video and bro, like like niggas running to the car, right? We're gonna play it. And then we got an aerial footage. Hold we're gonna play Hold on, no, no, no. I wanna play I wanna play the uh the one at the bottom first, and then we're gonna play the aerial footage. It's wall to wall right here that we got going on. Salute, hit the like, you know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Florida Boy J Perspectives and Facts Podcast, man. We are lit tonight. You see what time it is. We got the Migos, salute to the Cosmigos, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of good things going on right now. The live chat's booming. You know what I'm saying? So he went to, yeah, he went to court to uh, file a lawsuit because Tariq Sheed's been saying a lot of things about him and saying he got certain paperwork. But regardless, like I said, you could be going to court and filing that. There's no reason why you should be pulling up to uh, Tariq Nasheed. Yo, that bitch ass nigga to harm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got that locked in, man. We got that locked in. Jamel in the building, one love in the building. Ray Ray Lamont in the building. Yeah, we got some thoughts on that shit. Uh, trouble in the building. Yo, that bitch ass nigga to Harker Bay right there. Yo, that bitch nigga to Harker Bay just got that started. nigga hopped off. And what was that? A pre? What kind of car is that? Yo, look at it with the camera in the in the air. Look at that shit. You see with the body cam on him in the Kia? Oh, that's a Kia too. Oh man, Nachi got oh, the key. Oh, yeah, 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 nigga, bro, bro. Yo, that bitch ass nigga to Harker Bay right there. There's no point of pulling up and getting pumped, bro. When you pull up on a nigga, you're supposed to be ready for whatever, man. What the fuck? He was allegedly not ready for whatever. I can't believe he pulled up. And let we can go ahead and um continue. Yeah, roll, roll the aerial footage clip that we got. Because that, that spot alone was just ridiculous in its own way. And I was just, I just couldn't believe it. I just can't believe it, honestly, especially the clip that they had that um, the aerial footage where it looks like he walked down and uh, allegedly looks like hands were put on somebody. I don't know if uh, you've seen it, if you can uh, co-sign that it looks like hands were indeed put on somebody. But to me, it looks like somebody got slapped. What, what, are, you, what are your opinions? Well, you're going to play it. Let me take a look. Uh, close to look, yeah. I don't want to just jump out of that, man. Here we go. That's the footage. All right. He's walking him down. He's walking him down real grainy. Walk down, walk down, walk down. Real blurry, man. Like like right he, there, right there. Look like so. I mean, 
that looked like somebody went into his shit. Let me see. Let me see one more time. Let me see. Oh, this shit is too blurry. I need HD. Right there, like and he got slapped right there. It was like some some type of scuffle. But he got back into his shit. Did you really? I didn't see, and I the the the, the bigger the bigger figure. I don't see him backing making any away. type. Yeah, backing away, making any type of moves that uh would insinuate a hit being involved. Mm-hmm. Live chat. What do you, what what would you think? What would you guys think? I didn't see anything that would look like uh some type of smack or a hit personally. Mm-hmm. So with that said. No, when I when I say smack or hit, I'm talking about coming from Taharka Bay. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that. What I seen was looks like either the bigger figure made a jump or made some type of move that had him kind of startled or kind of you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it seemed like he kind of was just moving a little different. And personally, I would just like to figure out you know what was what was going on. So we we got some audio. Okay. See you soon. You know what I mean? Um, but fam, so when I see I got the I got his security. <laughs> I got I got this I got the security, he got security around there. So let me give y'all, let me give y'all the whole scene. So he has security around the demonstration. The foot's in the building, salute, man. Salute. You know what I'm saying? So when I pull up, I already know that he got security everywhere. Like, he got security guarding the building. Press 7 if you hear what I'm saying. He got security guarding the building. So I got the security on camera. You know what I'm saying? So I got the security on camera. So I'm saying to myself, okay, he got security. I see security pick up the phone. You know what I mean? Pick up the cell phone. And I'm like, okay, they calling their reinforcements. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't care. I just, you know me, I just, I am got, I got the footage. I'm like, you know. And so when I'm in the front, Tariq swings around, Tariq swings around in like a black Denali. And I don't really talk about this type of stuff, but since he said it, and since he said it, I'm going to call it out. So he swings around in a black Denali. So I walks up to his truck. When he swings around, I walks up to his truck. I walks up to his truck. I say, oh, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, you ready to talk about this like a man? And he said, what you doing in front of my place? What you doing in front of my place? And I I kind of, I said, I backed up a little bit. I said, he jumped out the car. I said, I said, man, you better go ahead. I said, man, you better go ahead. So it's a, uh, it's a police right behind him. And it's two, it's a security guard. First he said, first he said, Somebody said, why would he walk up to the truck? Because he pulled the truck. He bust the U-E. He bust the U-turn on the sidewalk right beside me. That's why. He bust the U-turn. So say you're walking up the sidewalk and somebody bust a U-turn right beside you. You know what I mean? Listen, he busts a U-turn right beside me on the sidewalk. So I walks up to the truck. That's it. And, and so when he gets out the truck, he was like... The BL nigga, why you why you around my place? Why you around my place? I what said, you better go right? in. You know what I'm saying? And so when he swings, I dips, I dips, and I I said, man, for real? That's what you want for real? I said, you gonna do that? Cause the police right there? Cause the police right there? He said, up the police, you around my spot. <laughs> so he said he swung, he dipped. Classic, he missed, he grazed me. Listen, we in that era, you know what niggas used to do when they get swung on, they get on there and they hold their phone to their face. Do it look like I got hit? Do it look like I got hit? And if it don't look like you got hit, you didn't get hit. You know what I mean? We in that era, Florida boy, Jay. If it don't look like you got hit, you didn't get hit. 
You got a black era. You know what era really in? Yes. If the if we like the other person more, you got hit. <laughs> oh damn, you right about that. That's too. why this is called hitting smacks, and we about to drop the art of smacking mm. uh, part three. Uh, about you know what I'm saying next Friday. Mm. That's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like you pulled up. Let's not act like you was chilling in your neighborhood looking at artwork, and a nigga, a random nigga, just made a U-turn and hopped out to smack you. Mm-hmm. You flew cross country, went to a nigga's property. Mm-hmm. It was all outside trying to kick up dust, doing too much. Mm-hmm. And a nigga was, got the call that you was outside with the bullshit. With the bullshit oh seen it, hit the U-turn, mm-hmm. hopped out on you. And this is how we got this video here. Mm-hmm. When niggas run down on you, mm-hmm. like, what you doing in front of my stuff? Okay. As we were watching, looks like uh, allegedly there's the bigger figure he walking down on him. He should have been swinging, though. You backing up. Yeah, like you letting him walk you down like goddamn three buildings. Look, wow. It looked uh, like more than one swing on you, though. He coming back, though, for more. I don't, but it's like if you coming back, I don't even see the guy, the bigger guy with his hands raised. So, like, you like trying to come over, but you're not really uh, alerting or alarming him to the point where he needs to be. You know, tripping. Wonder what happened when that truck passed. Yeah, he might have got his ass smacked. <laughs> yeah, that because he backing up. He backing up. He backing up for real after that truck pass. Go back to that truck. Go back to that truck after that truck. Nigga, bro, go back before the truck and after the truck. Like before the truck, look, look right there. Look like a nigga got slapped. And look what's going on. Like nigga, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. He walking back. Yeah, Ooh. something happened between that truck passing. Yeah, we don't know what happened when that truck passed. That's the good point. We're going to speculate. Yeah, I'm going to speculate. speculate. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm going with that too, J-Dug. I think but that's I an mean, accurate assessment. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with a nigga put hands on him anyways. I, I mean, I'm not it. going to say Tariq fronted on that. I feel like if he walked you down and did all that, he had to smack the shit out you. Or at least attempt to. Him attempting to smack the shit out you is just as bad as you get the shit smacked out you. Dude. Right, 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 right. But, um, you know, Tariq got all other type of drama going on. He's in court. He's trying to sue the guy that he called Bucci Bear, which his name. What you, what you said, Pan African Nigga Strikes Back? <laughs> you call him Pan African Nigga Strikes Back. Hey, that's what it is. Pan African Nigga Strikes ah. Back, right? Oh, you want to play the video? The niggas pulled up tomorrow. If I was there, we would have, we would have did so. We'd been outside. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, 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 Who yeah, yeah. Niggas? You know me. Big Rick in the I house. Was gonna tear his motherfucking head off if I catch him out here slipping. I'm, and I know he ain't left town. I done checked his place. It's eight twenty, so he around here somewhere watching. We no see doubt. you. We see you. Come on through. You know me. What's up? Big Rick in the I house. Gonna tear his motherfucking. That nigga got mammy riding with. <laughs> Yo, yo, what'd you say? Say what you say? Hey, JD, I don't think they heard you. What'd you say? That nigga got Mammy ride with him. They finna wreck shit. Look at Mammy. She ain't even saying that. Mammy looking like, just give me the word to read. I'm FBA till I die. I don't even got my wig on all the way. I don't <laughs> yo. Really know fuck something up to read. I don't got my ass. I don't got my lashes on. That's why I got these big ass sunglasses on. Let me know who I got listen, to fuck man. up to read. Listen, listen. <sighs> Obviously, it caused the ruckus in the community of Crenshaw or wherever this building is is uh, is located, right? So it caused some type of ruckus. Niggas is obviously tripping on the situation, and um, my critique or my opinion on the thing is this with Tariq Nasheed, all right? Why are you falling um, in the traps of what these niggas are clearly setting up to do? Like, you're opening your museum. I'm not saying you didn't expect any of these uh, situations to occur, right? Like, you know, you you know niggas going to hate, you know what I'm saying? But why does it seem like you are emotionally reacting to these situations is, is there a lot of stress going on does he have a lot on his mind you know what i'm saying like why ha- do we have back-to-back days of seems like Tariq nasheed losing his cool and it, it is it because the ops is pulling up is that a reason 
is that a viable excuse that oh the ops came so he has to react and you know he has to defend himself like that makes sense in a way but at the same time is that really is that a smart example to set Tariq is getting exposed man he losing money bro you think he's losing money he losing money he losing supporters he lost his tenant that was supposed to be in history museum until what do you mean what do you mean i need you to i need you to you, you know you just can't be <laughs> well him and brandon were going to court and brandon according to brandon i have no knowledge but according to brandon the reason why Tariq was taking him to court because the people that Tariq had in the hidden history nail salon. Hidden history nail salon. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, hold the, on. The, what, what? the storefront. The storefront. Oh, what you talking about? Hold on. Pause. Pause. What you. There's a hidden history salon coming. You got J Doug. J Doug, you got to clarify. You gotta clarify what you're referring to, cause I, I don't I I'm not aware. I don't know if the audience well, is aware. Just, I'm just being sarcastic about the the museum. It's not what we expected. It's a little, you know what I mean. What's wrong? What What do you think? What bodega, do you mean? bodega ish, bodega ish. Yeah, it looks like a bodega. But you know what I mean. Salute to Yo, I know hold black on. people. Now you, said, you said it hit history museum. It was like a. It, it was like a bodega. Yeah, it looked like a bodega to me. Well, I'm from we, and you know how those little spots down south they have a corner store in them, man. Yo, bodega is crazy. A bodega is crazy, bro. Listen, I feel like this. I feel like this, right? To be objective, 